250 gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day we are more than journalism we are a revolution come on come on let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News Channel. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to yo like no other. But before I begin, hit the like button, the subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. This no good, rotten, drunk police officer runs, drives her car, and hits another police officer now she is facing charges i got a video i want to play for y'all and i'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion let's go johnson is facing multiple charges tonight marta berglund has more on what police say happened and johnson's future in law enforcement well, the officers that pulled Carmen Johnson over say this all started when she almost hit a cop that had pulled over a different car in Hampton. Damn. They say she sped away when they tried to stop her. Hampton police charged Portsmouth police officer Carmen Johnson with reckless driving, driving while intoxicated first offense, failure to yield to an emergency vehicle, and assault. Look like a dude. Let's throw out there. Did look like a man. Like a man in drag of a law enforcement officer. The charges stem from an incident late Saturday night near Interstate 64 and North Mallory Street. The officers that stopped Johnson say she sped past a separate traffic stop. When they tried to stop her, police say she hit speeds of over 100 miles per hour. Damn. When Johnson did pull over, police records state she had glassy eyes and was slurring her words. She allegedly told police she was driving from Norfolk after having one drink. Detectives say they found an open alcohol container in her car and a cup of apparent alcohol thrown in the back seat. The officers wrote in a police report Johnson's blood alcohol content was 0 .09. That criminal complaint does not outline why police charged Johnson with battery of an officer, but a Hampton police spokesperson told 13 News Now, quote, during the arrest, an HPD officer was assaulted. Johnson is out on bond, but will appear in court on Wednesday. Yeah. And as for the future of her law enforcement career, the Portsmouth Police Department said they're working on an internal investigation and Johnson is working a non-law enforcement administrative position. Marta Berglund. Y'all hear that? She kept her job. She's still able to keep these, these, these bastards would not get fired for anything. Can you imagine if you were drunk and you hit a police officer? Your ass going to jail. This, this is crazy. Police department is a zoo. I'll meet y'all on the other side to give you my opinion. Let's go. This heifer still kept her job. Opinion. Would y'all like some of this 250G news commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Her ass need to be locked up. Her bags need to be stripped. We can't have drunk police officers out there acting a damn fool. I thought the job of the police officers was to get the drunks off the streets, not drink with the drunks in the streets. This is absolutely crazy, and she still has a job. She's just not out on the field with the gun and the badge. She still has her badge, but she's on administratively, so she still has a job. Can you imagine hitting a cop while you drunk? Your ass is out of there. Hell. In a lot of instances, even if you buck at the cops, not disrespect them or threaten them, just stand your ground. They get mad. They really get mad when you enforce your rights. Like, you're not supposed to tell them what to do. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy how these people just do what the hell they want to do. Just a bunch of animals. They are a bunch of animals. This is a, this is a crazy society we live in where police officers can kill, they can drink. Slap on their wives, slap on their husbands, get involved with the drug gang, just do whatever the hell they want to do. Qualified immunity, they need to change that. They need to definitely change that. Get these mofos off the streets. She's a drunk. She needs help. Furthermore, she needs to go to an AA meeting. We don't know what's going on. That's what I'll be trying to tell y'all. That's what I'll be trying to tell y'all. When these people pull up behind you, a lot of these people that love the police so much, 
they love them until something happens to them, until they see the other side. I've seen all sides. I've seen all sides. Until you get a asshole cop, like, why is this dude messing with me? I ain't, I ain't bothering nobody. Because he can. That's why. When you when you come across another uh, human being and they handle you a certain way just because of their position in society, you start looking at their organization differently. There's a lot of people out there that believe that cops can do no wrong. Bunch of idiots, in my opinion. You are a damn fool and an idiot if you think cops don't do anything wrong. They're human beings. They're flawed. Don't believe me? Just look at all the look at all the stories I've covered. Watch the damn news. Crooked cops has been uh, been uh, a major factor in the police force since they first started in the United States, especially in the United States. All the major cities now it's spread to the rural areas. They have contributed to the drug game. They have contributed to false uh, false arrests, wrongful arrests. They have locked up a lot of black men, especially back in the Jim Crow days. They were locking up black men left and right. The officers are white, the jury is white, and the judge is white. Lock his ass up, no mercy. So until you see, I guess if you, if you don't really open up your mind to reality, a lot of people like to live in their own reality because they're safe in their own reality. I'm, I'm not trying to be safe. I'm trying to be real. This this woman needs AA meeting. She needs to be off the force. Now, in her case, yeah, she's going to have to get off the force. Well, she'll need a suspension. She can't be on the force until she get that on the she, until she get this under control because. There's a thing called a flash that she may bring to work and have a little sip. You don't, that's what I'm saying. When people, when these people pull you over, you know what kind of mind state these people are in. It's like this society don't want people to think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, is this, is this man abusive to his wife? Is this man, I think the worst of the worst because when they pull you over, they're thinking the worst of the worst. Think about that. When the cops pull you over, they think the worst of the worst. So when, when I get pulled over, I'm thinking the worst of the worst. The dude's a racist. Is he a drunk? Like Miss Carmen over here, drinking her ass off. Are they, uh, do they get thrilled on manipulating people? Are they atheists? Some people really just get that bad just to hurt people. And there's a lot of people that don't believe that. But she is scum and she need to get her ass off the force, at least to get her drinking problem under control. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this police officer, female police officer, Miss Carmen out there? drinking and driving, slamming her car into another police officer as he was arresting somebody else. 250 Capital G News, I'm gone.